Maurice saying, teacher, you didn't upload the work for last week. Really, maybe you did not check very well. Everything is there uploaded. So this week, which is not there. Can I have somebody to give us the memory verse for today? Who is giving us the memory verse for today? Who is giving us the memory verse for today? Raise up the hand. Okay. Okay. Sheena. Sheena, you can unmute. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, Sheena? Sherina. I'm fine. Today is bus. Yes. It's Job chapter 16, verse 18. Job chapter 16, verse 18. Yes. Okay, we say it's Job 16, 18. I know there is someone in heaven who will come at last in my defense. While my body is eaten by disease, I will see God. Oh, good. Um, among people who like the book of Job, actually when I read the book of Job, I get the strength. Once um, faced with the challenge, I just remember the challenges which Job passed through. And for sure, it really keeps me moving. Oh, so, let us start our lesson right away. We're going to have a recap of what you studied in the last lesson. Those who have just come, I'm called teacher Daniel Alira. I'm your teacher of physics, and the senior two is my class. I love senior two so much that I don't know really. Fine, can somebody give us a recap of what we studied in the last lesson? Can somebody give us a recap of what we studied in the last lesson? Those who are around, can I have hands? From those ones who are around. Can I see Sherina? Can I see Sherina? Can I see by show of hand those ones who are around in the last lesson? You give us a recap of what we studied. Who can give us a recap of what we studied in the last lesson? Okay. I Yes, yes, Ashley. Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Sure, can you hear me? Yes. Well, last week we learned about the hydraulic brake. Uh, we learned about the structures of the hydraulic press, I mean hydraulic brake. And then we learned about it, the functions of those parts and how they function together. Very, very good. We learned about hydraulic brake how it works, the functions of most of the parts, and how it works. Very good. We said that when a driver, when a driver steps on the pedal, then there is what is going to be the master cylinder. The piston produces pressure in the master cylinder. After producing pressure in the master cylinder, what will happen is that uh, the pressure produced in the master cylinder is then transferred into the wheel cylinder. Attached to the wheel cylinder is what is called to be the brake shoe. Attached to the brake shoe is the brake pad. Now, when the master cylinder is, when the master cylinder sends their pressure in the wheel cylinder, the wheel cylinder will automatically expand. That will make the other Break part, break shoe to also expand. When it expands, it squeezes the part onto the body, onto the drum, and automatically it will slow down the motion of the drum. Fine, thank you. Stop the rotation of the drum. Thank you so much. That's what we saw in the previous lesson. Today, we are going to continue with atmospheric pressure and we are going to see 
what we call to be barometer. So we're going to see barometer and we're going to see how it works, how it does its thing and the calculations which are involved. Allow me to share my screen with you before I continue. Let me share my screen with you. Ah, I'm not sharing the screen. That's you. Can you see the connection? I'm not sure. Can you let me know whether you're able to see on my screen? Yes, you're able to see on my screen. 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 Uh, for those who have just joined, we are saying this lesson is brought to us by Edify Uganda. It is brought to us by Edify Uganda, and they are the ones doing each and everything for us. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there is a lot of rain inside, and it may interrupt with my sound. I pray to God that it stops for a few minutes so that we end our lesson. Uh, members, stop shouting. Hey. Hello. Can you see your camera off? like this. Can you put your camera off? Uh, I can't see your screen. We're just seeing. Uh, I don't even know how it's called, but not seeing your screen anymore. So we're saying that uh, uh, this program is brought to us by Edify Uganda, and we are so grateful to them. Hope you can see on my screen. Can you see on my screen? Please let me know. You can let me know. Can you see on my screen? You are home. Yes, sir. Are you able to see on my screen, please? Let me know. Yes, okay. Good. Oh, good. So we're saying that uh, we are senior two for those who are lost. Senior two, physics, and my name is Teacher Daniel Alira. That is my name. My name is Teacher Daniel. Alira, today we are going to continue with atmospheric pressure. We are going to continue with atmospheric pressure. I remember we yes. define atmospheric pressure sometimes back. Who can define for us atmospheric pressure? Who can remind us what an atmospheric pressure is? What is an atmospheric pressure? Yes, can. The law can. Kalman can. Yes, Kalman can. The atmospheric pressure is. Atmospheric pressure is the pressure exerted 
against the surface by the weight of the air above that surface. Can you repeat for me? Atmospheric pressure is the pressure exerted against the surface by the weight of the air above that surface. Very good, very good, Khan. Very good, very good, very good. Atmospheric pressure is the pressure which is ex it's the pressure which is exerted on the surface by the weight of air molecules above that very surface. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That means you'll be following the lesson very well. Uh, we said that atmospheric pressure can be measured using an instrument. Which instrument is used to measure atmospheric pressure? Can you raise up the hand and tell me? Which instrument is used to measure atmospheric pressure? Can you give me, give me the instrument which is used to measure atmospheric pressure? Oh, I see very many hands up here. Irene Ashaba, Irene Ashaba, Irene Ashaba. A barometer. A barometer, very good, very good, very good. A barometer is used to measure atmospheric pressure. I see Amani Tili, Amani Tili says barometer, Maureen says barometer. Very good, all your answers are very correct. They are two, they are all correct. So Tilly, hello Tilly. Hello Tilly. Hello Tilly. Can you unmute? Yes. Can you unmute? Do you hear me? Yes. Hello Tilly, do you hear me? Yes. Oh, your network is not clear, I think. Okay, so we're saying the instrument is used to measure atmospheric pressure is barometer. Today, we are going to see measurement of atmospheric pressure using a barometer. Are you able to see on my screen? Hello? We're going to see measurement of atmospheric pressure using barometer. Can you see on my screen? Please let me know in the chat. You say yes, no, so that I can know. You can see on my screen, right? Good, fine. So we are saying, we want to see how to use barometer to determine atmospheric pressure. How do you use the barometer to determine atmospheric pressure? Before we use barometer to determine atmospheric pressure, we need to know how to construct it. We can construct atmospheric pressure. I mean, uh, we can construct a barometer in the laboratory. How to construct a barometer in the laboratory? Can you pin my video? Yes. My video? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. In my video and make sure you're seeing the chalkboard very well, okay? Yes. Okay. In the video and video, you'll see the top of the area. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How to construct 
e barometà in della barca o di un posto e barometà in della barca can you see the chicken board very well yes chicken board yes yes okay fine good 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 so how do you construct a barometer in the laboratory that is the question we are asking our seller how do we construct a barometer in the laboratory now to construct a barometer in the laboratory we need to lift it to determine atmospheric pressure uh, you get a long tube you get a long tube like so when you get a long tube which is approximately one meter should be one meter long now you know one meter long that is five like, uh, one meter long is a meter long a tube which is like a meter long one meter what? one meter long so when you get this tube uh you put there your material let us do this the tube i've used a bottle of soda to are you able to see my bottle yes so this tube let us do this is the tube now which is one meter long then i fill it with the material I pour here much of it, after pouring here much of it, up to the green here, up to this level. Now when I fill it much of it, much of it will have gone with some air molecules inside. So what I do, I put my thumb. This thumb, I put it at the mouth like this, so that it is not able to pour out. After putting it there, I do this several times. Do you see that? I see what I'm trying to do. Yes. It's a new thing several times. Remember it was full, okay? It was full, but if I do this several times, if I do this several times, that is very, very big, then I leave it. It will come back to the brain here. It will not come back to the but it will come back to the brain here. Why? Simply because by inverting it up and down several times, the air molecules which will have entered together with the mercury at the time of feeling has already escaped out. Do you get that? Yes. So once those air molecules escape out, they create space inside the tube. So that means that the tube which was initially full will now not be working full. No, that okay. Is that fine? Okay. Now from there, after involving it several times, up and down several times, and it comes to this level, I will refill it so that I make it full. That is the first thing. Then the second thing is I get the bar. A bar or a basin or a bucket or a big bar which is containing material. This one is containing material. Remember this one is isolated material. So, what I do with my little tube and with my hand still on the mouth here, I take it and then I lower it into a bag containing material. When I lower it there, I remove my hand and then I leave it there. So, when I leave it there, the level of material will again. The level of pressure is the same way to fall to a certain body. So, when I go to here, when I go to here, my level of pressure will fall to a certain height. 
which is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So we said that when you know that during the dark of rainy maturity, the level of maturity will fall to a certain level. You reach that level of maturity in the field and it becomes directly the atmospheric pressure at that point. Do you get the do you get that members? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, good, good. So we said in our description, if we are to describe, okay? If we are asked to describe, we said a one meter long thick wall tube is filled with the material. You fill it with the material. The tube is then inverted several times with the finger over the open. And is that okay? Yes. You import it several times with your finger over the open end. This is done in order for the large air bubbles to run up and down, collecting air small bubbles in the mature. Then after doing that, you after importing several times, the tube is then revealed. Okay? Yeah. After revealing the tube, with the finger still on the mouth, you then, the tube which has been filled is then inverted into a boil containing mature. Is that okay? When the mature, I mean, when the finger is then removed, the level of mercury in the tube is going to fall until it reaches the height which is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Is that okay, members? Is it fine, members? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. If I may ask you. If I may ask you, what do you think? What do you think, apart from measuring atmospheric pressure, what do you think a barometer can be used for? Hello? What do you think a barometer can be used for? Apart from measuring atmospheric pressure? Measuring much the okay. so barometer barometer can be used to measure the height of a mountain. High of a mountain. It can be used to measure the height of mountain. Okay? Please be a barometer is used to measure the height of the body, of the mountain. Maria is saying she cannot hear anything. Let me see those and who cannot hear anything. Can you let me know? Uh, Grace, can you hear anything? You're echoing. I okay. You're not very clear. Uh, sorry, 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 Grace. What about now? At least it's At better. Least, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. Sir. Sir. Hello. Asili. Yes, sir, but there are other people speaking in the background. They're interrupting the, the, uh, the lesson and we can't hear them quite well. Are you opposed? So they're interrupting. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, yes. 
What I'm trying to say is that many people are making noise in the background. I think their microphones are not muted. So I would suggest that not to mute them. Let me try to mute everyone, okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Please, if I meet you and, and, and you unmute yourself without me asking you to meet yourself, I will put you in the waiting list. Yeah. If I don't ask you to unmute yourself and you unmute yourself, I'll put you in the waiting list because you'll be interacting with people. Enough, enough. And now I'm going to take you to the waiting list, to the waiting room. You only unmute if you have a serious issue to ask. Good. <laughs> ask me. Can you unmute? Yes, sure, it's now fine. You can hear you properly. Call it, please. Yes, teacher. Yes, it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are saying that apostolic pressure, I mean, a barometer can be used to measure atmospheric pressure. How does it work? I want you to see here very well. Let's check this very well. How do we use barometer to measure atmospheric, I mean, to measure the height of the mountain? So I'll get my mountain here. I'll get my mountain. Let's say this is my mountain. So why is Mount Kilimanjaro? I don't know. So after getting my mountain, I get my barometer. Okay, I get my barometer. After getting the barometer, I will measure the atmospheric pressure at the bottom. When I measure the atmospheric pressure at the bottom, I will go and measure the atmospheric pressure at the top. I have a simple question here. Atmospheric pressure at the bottom and atmospheric pressure at the top. Which one is greater than the other? We saw this. Raise up the hand. I don't want to ask answers. Atmospheric pressure at the top and atmospheric pressure at the bottom. Which one is greater than the other? At the top of the mountain, yes, Chantal. Yes, Grace. Grace? Atmospheric pressure at the at the top. Atmospheric pressure at the top. That is Grace. Let me hear from Chantal. 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 Okay. Let me hear from Asili. Asili. Atmospheric, atmospheric pressure at the bottom. Atmospheric pressure at the bottom. We have two answers so far. We shall pick another person to confirm. Can? At the bottom. And at the bottom. At the bottom. Then, then lastly is uh, I'll pick Jojo. Jojo Uganda. Jojo. Okay, Marietta, 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 can you unmute? Atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure at the bottom. Atmospheric pressure at the bottom. Thank you. Thank you. We said atmospheric pressure reduces as you go to the higher altitude. So we expect atmospheric pressure at the bottom to be greater than the atmospheric pressure at the top. Now, when you're using material, when you're using a barometer to determine the height of the back of the, to determine the height of the mountain, we first measure the atmospheric pressure at the bottom. 
we call it BPB. Then we measure the atmospheric pressure on top. We call it BPT. Then we get what we call to be pressure difference. We get pressure, pressure difference. Pressure difference, we call it to be PD. PD is the pressure difference, but this PD, which is pressure difference, is given by pressure at the bottom minus pressure at the top. That is the P. It is pressure at the bottom minus pressure at the top. Now, after getting P, uh, you say that P, pressure difference. Now, the difference in the pressure at the bottom and the difference in the pressure at the top, the difference is brought about by wave of air molecules around here. So, we said that pressure difference is due to the weight of air molecules as you move from down going up. So what brings about the pressure difference is the weight of air molecules. So we get the pressure which is also exerted by the air molecules. So we said the pressure difference is the same as density of air times acceleration due to gravity times the height of the mountain. Let me come again. That pressure difference is brought about by weight of hair. So the pressure difference is the pressure which is exerted by air molecules. That's why you're saying that pressure difference is the pressure exerted by air molecules. You know pressure exerted by liquid is density times acceleration due to gravity times the height. That one we saw it long ago. So this pressure difference is going to be density, but this density is the density of air times acceleration due to what? Gravity. Then how long is the air molecule? The air molecule is like the height of the mountain. It's from here to there. So pressure difference, pressure difference is density of air acceleration due to gravity times height of the mountain. So that you need to know it very, very well. Okay? So, if that is the case, then from there, having got the pressure difference, you use now this formula to get the height of the water, get the height of the mountain. Is that okay, friends? You can let me know in the chat. Is that okay? Is it fine? So that we looked at example number one. He disabled the chat. Chat is disabled. Okay, I see you. You can unmute. So you have disabled the chat. Hey. So we can't send messages to the chat. Oh, sorry for that. Okay, so okay, this chat is So that's my demean because I think people are sending very many messages there which were not related to this. But in case of anything, but is it clear? Is it clear, Edgar? Is it clear, Asili? Asili? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Good. Let's see EG number one. What does you see example number one about this? Excuse me, teacher.
שמה שווה בארץ הרי, ואני חייב להגיד לך מה שווה at the bottom of the mountain, and uh, 73.5 Excuse me, what's pressure? Yes. What's pressure? Pressure. Are you asking for pressure? Yes. Sorry, are you asking for definition of pressure? Yes. Pressure. Who can define for us pressure? Yeah. Pressure is the first acting normally by unit area. The bottom of the so can you see that person up? Are we able to see the question up? Yes. Yes, teacher. Can you read it for us? Yes. Yes, tell me read it for your hand. Read then. A mercury barometer reads 75 centimeters Hg at the bottom of, uh, of the mountain and 73.5 centimeters Hg at the top of the mountain. Find the density of a of, oh wait I can't see here wait mm, can't see this one is if the density uh, if the density of mercury is thirteen thousand six hundred kilograms per meters and that of air is one point two five calculate the height of the mountain. Good. So we are going to calculate the height of the mountain. Please take care here, take note, follow all the steps which I'm going to take. See it keenly. So I'll draw my mountain. This is my mountain. The same much less parameter reads this at the bottom of the mountain. So that becomes the pressure at the bottom. It is 75 centimeters of mercury. So this is 75 centimeters of mercury. Then the pressure at the top is 73.5 centimeters of mercury. So this is pressure at the top, which is 73. 0.5 centimeters of mercury. If the density of mercury is this and the density of air is the other one, find that. Before I even go there, I first get the pressure difference. I get the pressure what? The pressure difference. The pressure difference is pressure at the bottom minus pressure at the top which is the same as pressure at the bottom is 75 minus pressure at the top is 73.5. So what is our pressure difference now? 
What's the pressure difference here? Please just move the calculator as LFRs. Who is having a calculator? If you have a calculator, raise up your hand. I'll unmute you. Actually, do you have a calculator? I'm looking for it. So let me pick Grace. Grace, Grace, do you have a calculator? Yes. Okay, Grace, LFR. What is 75 minus 73.1? Minus 73. 1.5. 1.5 centimeters or much. So this is the pressure difference. Please, before you do anything with the pressure difference, you have to first convert it to Newton's per meter squared. Before you do anything with the pressure difference, you have to ensure that it is in Newton's per meter squared. This is in centimeters of mercury, so we have to convert it to Newton's per meter squared. So how do we convert it to Newton's per meter squared? If it is centimeters of mercury, we already know that 76 centimeters of mercury is equal to this one will take us long. What you do, you say pressure difference, therefore, pressure difference is going to be 1.5. It is 1.5 centimeters, you convert it to meters, you divide by one. You divide by 10. I mean 100. 1.5 centimeters you divide by 100. Then of mercury, you multiply by acceleration due to gravity, then times the density of mercury. Please, I've given you the shortest way of doing it. If I want to convert from centimeters of mercury, to Newton's per meter squared, I first convert this one to meters, then I multiply by acceleration due to gravity, thereafter I multiply by the density of mercury. So uh, we shall have pressure difference to be equal to 1.5 divided by 100 times acceleration due to gravity is 10 times. Then the matter is 1.3600. Pressure difference will be the same as. What do you get, Grace? Grace, I thought that I needed you to give us the answer. Let me unmute Astrid. Astrid? Teacher, I've just joined. Teach. Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Okay, I want to go on with the calculator. Joshua, do you have a calculator? Joshua? Yes. You have a calculator, right? Yes. Okay, please. What is 1.5 divided by 100? Zero point zero one five. Times 10? Zero point one five. Times 1,800. Zero, zero. 20,040. So, 0.40. This is now in Newton per meter square. Please, I've told you, you shouldn't start using this value before changing it to Newton per meter square. 
you have to convert it to newtons per meter squared. So we have the pressure at the top, we have the pressure at the bottom, which will help us to get the pressure difference. So after getting the pressure difference, you convert the pressure difference into newtons per meter squared. Then we say, but, but the pressure difference, the pressure difference is due to change in air molecules. I mean, it's brought about by the pressure of air molecules. That's why I say pressure difference is the density of air times acceleration due to gravity times the height of the mountain. So pressure difference is the density of air acceleration due to gravity times height of the mountain. So pressure difference we already have it as 2040, 2040, she picked the density of air has already been given to us in the question, 1.25. This is 1.25. Then acceleration due to gravity, which is always 10. Then times height of the mountain, which we are looking for. This is around 2040. She gives us one more part of this planet for the height of the mountain. If I go through by 12.5 or through by 12.5, this is addition of the ball. You may have the height of the mountain to be equal to. What do you get when you divide? Shina Shari. Excuse me, I have not understood. Shina Shari, your network is not clear. Yes, Joshua. Understood. 163.2. Point 163.4. Point 163.2. Point 163.2. Point in so this will be the height of this mountain. Yeah, this is the height of the mountain. So the thing that I have never heard is that is this at the bottom and this at the top. So we shall have pressure at the bottom, pressure at the top. So when you have pressure at the bottom, pressure at the top, we get the pressure difference. Pressure difference will be pressure at the bottom minus pressure at the top. So our pressure difference is exactly <laughs> Now, after getting this as the pressure difference, should be converted to the So the pressure difference should be converted to Newton's. Meters squared. So, if you convert pressure difference to Newton's per meter squared, you first convert this one to meters, that is by multiplying by dividing by 100, after dividing by 100, you multiply again by acceleration due to gravity, then you multiply by the density. Then after my, after dividing by hundred to convert I mean you multiply by the relative due to gravity, then you multiply by the height. Then you shouldn't forget that you said that the pressure difference is due to air. So the pressure difference is due to air molecules, then you substitute there. Let's see PG number two. So we're going to see example number two. Please, those are not going to pick this very well. Be attentive to example number two. Keep quiet. Please mute your microphone. 
Hmm. Yeah. Even you're speaking in your mother tongues. Keep quiet. This is a classroom. <laughs> Child not saying anything. You're just small, small, small. What's wrong? What's wrong? can you read for us that question? We're not saying anything. I can't see. Macalena? I can't see very well. Please able to see you raise up your hand and you read for me. Yes, Grace, can you read for me? The pressure at the bottom of a mountain is 75 centimeters and 65.8 centimeters at the top. Okay. What is the height of the mountain? Density of mercury equals to 13,600 air. 1.25. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So we have the pressure. We have the mountain. And the pressure at the top. We see there. And the pressure is the other one. Okay. The pressure should okay. So we get the pressure difference. The pressure at the bottom. Minus the pressure at the top. Five, six, five. Can you the answer? I see the answer? Okay. Can you give us the answer? What, Joshua? Ten points. Get 
Miss Ghana, do you have a calculator, Miss Ghana? Yeah. Sorry. Do you have a calculator? Yeah. 1,096. 1,000.96. So that would be the height of that mountain. Is that clear, members? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, Very teacher. Good. I'm, yes. Going to put the yes. I'm going to put the exercise in Google Classroom, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Make sure you are there and you do that. It's okay. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.